Robin à vậy hai Robin à vậy à Can he just leave without giving me my herbs? Where could he have gone to? And when is he coming back? Abina! Hi. Abina! to this kitchen. Still asleep. Okay, where are you coming back from? Mama, so I, I woke up this morning to warm your herb. Then I saw that it has finished, so I ran out to fetch some before you wake up from sleep. Mm. Mm. Are you not the only one that goes to that pot? How come you did not know it was finished? <sighs> Mama, all I can remember is I, I know it, it was remaining after I gave you a, a pot to drink. I'm very surprised to see that it is finished. This morning. Lupina, do you ever listen to yourself when you talk? How many of us are living in this house? So who drank it? Mama, it was re remaining. Okay, Biko, go and prepare that one and give me to take my morning dose. I'll say so.
Hey, I go warm. Mama is hot. It's warm. <laughs> My, is it bitter? Hi. Mm. Mama. What would I have done without you as my son? I keep thanking God every day for giving you to me as a son. Mama, you haven't seen anything yet. You know I still make money. And every money I make belongs to you. <laughs> because there's nobody like you. You will surely make money, my son. Amen. You will. Mama, you want more? I've not even finished this one. <laughs> Unless you want to join me and drink. Mama, drink, drink. You're supposed to finish it. Uh -uh. My king. Please temper justice with mercy. Please do not punish me at the height of your wrath. I and look at me and my household with the eyes of mercy. The consequences of your actions are indeed grave. Very However, I have looked at your antecedents. I will temper justice with mercy. You are hereby relieved of your office as the Chief Security Officer of this palace. Go home, pack your things and leave this palace and never return. Thank you, Your Highness, for preserving my life. I will forever be indebted. Pick one of the guards, let him man the gate in place of Amobi, who has just been fired. Yes, Your Highness. Then go to Afungwa. Tell him I said he should select from our youths. A capable hand, a capable and responsible youth from a decent home who will assume the duty of the chief security officer of this palace. Yes, Your Highness. Remind him. Remind him that I need a boy. Not an old man this time. I will do just that, Your Highness. Go. You go here.
I heard you've relieved Amobi of his duties in this palace. Mm, you heard well. Just like that. What would you have wanted me to do? Send him to jail? He deserved even worse. Yeah. Well, he was deceived and uh, acted in error. I had to temper justice with mercy. So who is going to take over his position? I sent word to Afonwa. I told him to get me a boy. I have no intention of having old men again. Exactly my thoughts too. Just know that God has decided to bless you and Mama. The salary the king will be paying you at the end of every month, no institution in the city or any other place around this region will pay you. <laughs> Afoma, eh? wait. When do I start? Immediately. Like tomorrow? If you want to start today, you start today. But I've never been to the palace before. Wouldn't they send me away if I go there? Nobody will send you away. Tell them that I, Afonwa, sent you, that you want to see the king. When you see the king, tell him that I was the one that sent you. Eh? Mm. That's all. Afonwa! Mm? I should tell the, the king you, yes. you sent me? Yes, yes. And that would be all. Just like that? Just like that. Just like that? Just like that. Hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Mama! Oh, Mama! Huh? Oh. <sighs> Mama, God has answered our prayers. Emeno, what happened? <sighs> Mama was by myself. Afonwa called me. Afonwa? Which Afonwa? Mama, Afonwa Elotanna, the king's special advisor. Oh, okay, okay. What did he tell you? Mama, he has gotten a job for me at the palace. Hi! Mama! <laughs> I've always said that this God whom I worship in truth and in spirit will never leave me. He will never fail me. Eh? Mama. I've always known that one day this our suffering will end. Mama, that day has come. Today is the day your son now walks at the palace. <laughs> and mama, mm. you and I, my salary will take care of us. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you, Mama. So proud of you. Thank you. Hey. Mama, how long have you been doing that? Uh, no, I just started. Okay, let me help you. I'm coming. Be that. Yes? Good, good afternoon. Good, good morning. Please, I... I'm here to see the king. Did the king give you any appointment? No, no, no just tell him um, I found why Lotana sent, sent me. Okay, wait. Eh? I, I should wait. Ah. 
I'm waiting. So it's good. It's good to eat from when you have a special Long live your majesty. Greetings, my queen. There is a young man at the gate. He said Afuma sent him to the palace. Send him in. Yes, Your Majesty. Okay, come in. Huh? I should come in. Greetings from my widowed mother. Rise. Rise. What's your name? My name is Obina. I'm the only son of late Didinta Echefu, who died so many years ago and made my mother a, a widow. My mother's name is Ezinne Ojugo from Obinago village. So, what brings you to my palace? Your Majesty, some day, days ago, fate smiled on me when Afo a Lotana called me and said, I have been given the opportunity to serve in the palace. He, he sent me to you, Your Majesty. Did he also tell you the duties you have at the palace? He told me, Your Majesty. He said, I have been given the opportunity to watch over your household the day and night. And I believe he also told you the reason we sent away the last person that was here before you. Because we won't condone any such carelessness and insubordination from you. Yeah, yes, my queen. I, 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 I promised my widowed mother that I will serve the king with all my heart. I also promised her not to bring shame to our family as walking in the palace has always been my prayer. If you work hard, you are likely not to have any problem. A lot of distractions are the adequate, but I implore you, to remain focused, and you shall forever be happy. I promise to do my best, my, my, my queen. Turn round. Sir? Turn round. Round. Round! You don't know what turning round means. Welcome to the palace. God, show him to his room. Let's go. Thank you. Go. Thank you. Go.
I believe he has made the right choice. Like repeating myself, who are you? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm the new uh, security commander in this in this palace. <laughs> Welcome back. Who appointed you, Ma? I said I hate repeating myself. Do not make me do that again. Who appointed you? Oh, <laughs> the king, your father. <laughs> You must be joking. No, I'm not joking, ma. So you mean to tell me that of all the able-bodied men in this kingdom, my father chose you exactly. to replace Amobi? Exactly. He said I'm the best for the job. <laughs> yes. This is ridiculous. No, no it's not. Ma. But thank you, ma. Listen to me, mister. You are unfit for this job. Uh, you can't work in this palace. And that's on period. As I speak to you right now, I need you to start taking off the uniform. No, no, ma, you don't understand. You, you, your father said I'm the I best. told you I hate to repeat myself. Take them off. Take them off. Take it off. Ma, Everything. Madam, but Take the, it off. But the king told Listen. me that I'm, I'm, I'm the, the, the best for the job. Don't worry. I need to speak to my father immediately. And I don't want to come out and see you wearing this again. You but, must be joking. You the can't king's... walk here. Ooh. The, the king, the king told, you, the king told me that I'm, be, I'm the, the best man for the job. Well, don't keep looking at me that way. You know what you're supposed to be doing. I don't know. Tell me, what would you like to eat? Adizi, you're back. Welcome, my daughter. Thanks. How was your trip? Good. Good? But you don't look it. That is because I met some young man at the gate who introduced himself as our new security personnel. And I'm wondering why, when, how? He is our new security personnel. <laughs> really? Father, did you actually employ that young man yourself? Do you have any problem with that? Go straight to the point. Okay. The point is, that young man is not fit to work here. He's too young to be our chief security personnel. Ever since I was born and raised in this palace, I grew up knowing older men, men with families and responsibilities as our security personnel, and I was told the reason behind that. Okay? So, I'm wondering, who suddenly changed the narrative? After what happened the last time, with uh, the consent of your mother here, I decided to bring in a younger fellow. Change, they say, is uh, the only thing that is constant. My dear, that young boy may be better. No way, father. That boy I saw at the gate, 
with the way his eyes were flickering. He cannot do anything for us. He's not fit. He's unfit, Father. No way. Father, that young guy can easily be bought. He has no kids, no family, nothing to look onto. Should he decide to commit any sort of atrocity against us? Um, my beloved daughter, even Amobi who has children and responsibilities, like you rightly said, was deceived. So it's not about age. Let's just watch and see how it goes. And to tell you the truth, my dear, you have no right whatsoever to question the actions of your father. Apart from being your father, he is the king of this entire Ochasia Sa province, and his words represent authority. That's my queen. And thank you so much for reminding me that my words carry no water in this palace. I'll be my own. Better. We know where she's coming from. Yes, I do. this well the princess of the kingdom said that she take off my clothes she asked you to remove your security uniform and you did yeah she said i should go naked will you put on your uniform and go back to work immediately ma you heard me thank you ma I saw him. He said hello. Is that like you only <laughs> seen him, man. How bad? How I, mean, I, told I, him I hate intimidation. I hate ah. intimidation. I hate when a human being treats his fellow human being like, like an animal, like a slave. Ah. Eh? What is she saying? How am I supposed to know? Is not the princess? A few moments ago, she asked the new security guy to pull his uniform and he obeyed her. No, not long ago, the queen came out and saw that he wasn't wearing his uniform. And they started scolding him for not wearing his uniform. Instead of going to scold the princess who asked him not to, 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 to pull his uniform. Eh, if she had disobeyed the princess now, it would have been another problem. Yes, it would have been another problem if he hadn't listened to the princess. Same no thing. problem. How are we hmm? sure they are not testing this boss loyalty? What kind yeah. of test is that? Uh, 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 uh. Considering the fact what happened last with Amobi, she could be right. My problem here is even with the boy, not the royal family. That is my problem. The boy? Yes. What did he do? Listen, Naya, this boy doesn't have any future at all. He doesn't. How can a boy full of energy that is supposed to be in the city hustling come to the palace to be a, 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 a gate man? Hi. It's not good though. I pity that boy. Gates man that old men used to stand. That is what the fine boy decided to be in the palace. Please stop it. Stop please. what? Stop it. Why are you talking like this? What if he has no other choice? Eh? This man. There are choices everywhere. That boy is just naive. Eh? How can he decide to be a gates man? Just a gates man. Ordinary gates man with no shame, no kobo. Coco. I don't even know why I'm even talking to both of you. Eh? I just know I hate intimidation. Chineke. It's not fair. Oh, you know she doesn't like such talk. You know. How about this? You know that. I know what I'm doing. How much do you? you all you know is all you know is all you know is all you know is all you Thank you. 
Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, you don't know me? No, you asked what? Oh, sorry. I'm the new um, security commander in the palace. So I should fly? No, no, no. I, I, I didn't say that. I, I was told you, you people are in charge of my food, so I came to collect it. You came to collect your food? Yes. We are in charge of your food? Yes. Mm. Indeed, you poor man. So it's because of food you came to this palace. It's because of ordinary food. That is why you're here. Hi. You came to collect your food. Hungry boy. No wonder you ended up as a gate man at the palace. As big as you are. It's food that is your problem. Food. You want to eat food. Hmm? Hey, go inside and collect the food. The food is waiting for you. Idiot. Hungry food. It's so. Don't listen to her. What do you want? No, I don't want anything. Let me no, just. Come, come. I may be of help. What do you want? No, no, I was just telling her that I am the. I'm the new security commander in this palace. And I was told that uh, you people are in charge of my food. So I came to collect it. You haven't eaten? I haven't. I've not eaten all day. Since morning? Yes. Do you know what? Please go back to your post, okay? I'll be back. Okay. That the new security man has not eaten. Hi! Anyway, I did not remember that we have a new security man. And I forgot to dish out his food. You forgot? Yes, you know, since I'm be left, one of the guys used, uh, used to keep watch of the gate, and they are, they are all inclusive in my list. So, it did not occur to me that a new security man has taken over. What are we going to do? Because the young man is very hungry. Uh, okay, I think I still have some food left. Let me dish it out for him. I'm sorry. It's okay, you don't owe me an apology. It's him you owe an apology. Just give him his food. Okay. And it's the right thing. Okay. Of food. Thank you. I'm sorry, I was supposed to bring it earlier, but I forgot. No, it, it's okay. It will happen again. No, it's fine now. There, there's no point apologizing. Thank you. Okay. This past one week at the palace was horrible. I almost stopped working, if not for you. What actually happened? Mama, where do I start from? Where? Is it the princess? She hates me with a passion. Is it the king, the queen, or the maidens? Mama, they have turned me into a laughing stock. The, what are they called? The palace guards. Boys like me. Mama, they all despise me. What have I done wrong? Nothing. Well, my 
my son. The road to success is very rough. And the beginning of every good thing is rougher. Don't get discouraged. No? Just give them time. With time, some of them will become your friends. And you will start telling with them well. Ne? Mm? Whenever such a thing happens, remember your old mother at home. Always have in mind that that salary they will pay you at the end of the month will help you do one or two things for your poor mother. Inugu? Amanugu. And I want you to know that I love you so much. Mama, I love you too. And that's why I'm still walking there. That's my son. I'm taking all those insults from those people because I have to work to make money for you. Thank you. Keep taking the insults. It, it is well. Till now? Oh, here he comes. What's going on? Greetings, my, my princess. Are you just coming to work now? Ma? Are you just resuming work? Now? Oh, 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 yes, yes. Um, um, the king permits I go to, uh, I, I go home every Sunday and return uh, to, to work every Monday morning, ma. You have not answered my question. Oh, ma, I said I went home yesterday and the king is aware of it, ma. You have not still answered my question. Ma, which other question do you Are mean? you just resuming work now? Ma, I, I resume work at 8 a.m. and it's some minutes to, to 8, ma. Who gave you 8 a.m.? Ma? Who told you to be resuming work by 8 a.m.? It's Afo, Afo, Afonwa, ma. Afonwa. Me and Madio strike the both of you dead. Why? Are you mad? Ma? No. In Apara? No, ma. You resume work here by 7 a.m., not 8 a.m. I, I, I'm sorry, ma. It, it won't happen again. Listen to me. Like, why would a young guy like you be doing at home throughout the weekend that would make you to be resuming work by this time. I said I won't, it won't happen again, ma. Do you want to lose your job? Ma, I said it won't happen again, ma. That's what I said, ma. I'm sorry, ma. And get out of my face. Ma? Get out of my face.
Obi there. Why are you eating that? The king will not be happy if he sees you eating that. Ah. Okay, thank you for telling me. You're welcome. But haven't you eaten today? That chef, she has not fed me since yesterday. What? Why? I don't know. You know what? Come in. Huh? I should open the door again. Come in. I should open the gate. I'm just coming from the security post and that boy said he has not eaten since yesterday. Why? I forgot. You forgot? Yes. I told that boy to always come here to collect his food. But he won't listen. Babe, I'm not his maid. You should come here. Just listen to yourself. Listen to yourself. This is heartless. Why are you being mean to him? Okay, let me ask you. When Amobi was here, was it not you that always take, take, take his food to him? What now changed? Hamboby is an elderly man. Yes. At least I was doing it because of his age. But that boy, he's a small boy now. He should come here and not his maid, though. I beg. Are you pushing not disturb me? This is not right. It is your job to take his food to him, not the other way around. That was exactly how the king structured this palace, and it almost lies on you to obey the king at all times. Hmm? But not that boy now. I will have to go and report you to the king. Okay. If he may be, please. Don't do that. The king will incite me. Please, I promise I won't do it again. Please. Look, if this repeats itself again, I will have to report you to the king. It won't. Just give the boy his food. Give him his food. I'm going there right now. Are you coming back now? Let's hide. So, you are claiming to be very stubborn again? Ordinary to come to the kitchen. You won't. You expect me, your maid, to come and serve you here, Abby? I am not stubborn, no. I am not stubborn. Afunwa says I should never leave my duty post. If the queen or the king comes back and don't find me here, I'll be in trouble. I don't want any trouble from anybody. Hmm. You don't want trouble. Hmm. You see this palace? It's you and I. I will deal with you in such a way that you run out of this palace in shame. Take your food. Lazy get man. Thank you. My God is bigger than all of you. Does anybody have anything to say? Like, maybe uh, you have a challenge in your, your duty post? Yes. Igwe. May, may your days be longer than that of your father's. Igwe. As the commander in charge of the security affairs of this great palace, yeah. Igwe, I just have, um, I, I just need clarification in some of the areas of my job, sir. I'm listening. Igwe, um, 
Uncle Afonwa categorically told me that on no account must I leave my duty post, which is the entrance of this great palace, also known as the gate, sir. Yes. So I asked him, um, how do I get my food, sir? What is it? Quiet. Let's hear it. Thank you, Your Highness. May I continue my... Go on! Yes, sir. Igwe, so I asked him, wouldn't I be needing, you know, my own time to have lunch, dinner, and my breakfast as someone who is working in, the great, in this great palace, sir? So he told me in confidence that I can have my breakfast and lunch at my duty post, sir. Mm -hmm. That the chef will always bring my food to me, sir. Yes. What about that? Do you have any problem with that? No, sir. So what are you complaining about? There's a problem, sir. What is the problem? 